Hello and welcome back. We are still in day 14. Uh, so in this lecture, we are going to understand about various data view types. This is very important to understand uh, various types. We will be using this data view types later. Let us start without wasting any further time. Actually, all the types, data view types, are defined in a module called as DW colon colon core. So this is a base module, and we do not need to import this module. So first type is array. As you know, array is nothing but square bracket. You can put any any number of elements inside the array. This we already know. Okay. The next type is C data, character data. So if you have seen XMLs, in XML the body, if the body should not be parsed by any parser, we will tell that the data type is C data. You can see in this example, uh, I am converting the output to XML and here user, the value is a string, but when it is written as a body to user tag, I want c data tag see here the output the value is inside character data right similarly age is also in character data so c data is also another type in uh, data view especially whenever we are writing xml and we want the value to be inside character data this is the value this is the way you have to use as and there are uh, different data types to represent date, date time, etc. We'll see all of this step by step. So basically date, date is a type which is represented like this, yyyymmdd. This is a default. So date does not have a time component. There is a function in data view called as now, which will return the current Time. So here you can see now I'm calling the function which will return the current date and I'm casting it to date. Okay. So let me show you actually without casting to date how it will look like. You can see this example here. A now is a function which I am calling and this is actually returning date as well as time as well as time zone i don't want this to be displayed like this i want this value to be displayed like a date in yyyy mm and dd format so what i can do is i can cast it to as date now you can see that date is in this format okay uh, now you understood about date time zone time zone is again another type which will tell only the time zone. You can see now I'm casting this uh, output of now return value of now function as time zone. Right now I'm in India time zone, which is uh, GMT plus 530. That is what is shown here GMT plus 530. So normally time zone will be like this. You can use either plus or minus. So right now I am in a GMT plus 530 time zone. Here it is displayed like this. Okay. Next. Time. So it will display only the time. Actually whenever we are displaying time, it will display time in a specific time zone. So now as I casted the return value of now to as time, see here I got time as well as a time zone. Right. Okay. Now, date time. So, as the name says, it will display both date as well as time. So, when I casted the return value of now as date time, this is how it is looking like, is it? So, date time is nothing but date plus time plus time zone. Okay. It's very clear. Now, local date time. Local date time is nothing but date time in the current time zone. So you can see when I casted the return value of now as local date time, you can see date as well as time, but no time zone. 
because it took the local time zone i mean gmt plus 5:30 time zone it gave only that it didn't give the time zone information it is assumed that the value which I, it is displaying is in the local time zone and local time is nothing but time in current time zone you can see this value right okay so actually there are a lot of uh, date formatting options uh, which you can refer from this url documentation okay so now i'll show you few more things uh, i want to do some formatting so what i can do is i'll convert this date when i cast it to date anyway i'm displaying xml right i want the value to be displayed only in uh, dd dash mmm format so what i can do is i can say as string <coughs> anyway i don't see much difference anyway in xml it is displayed as string only now i want to give the format of the string format colon i can now give uh, mmm dash dd see I'm getting in MMM dash DD. Uh, I can say MM dash DD. Yes, it is displaying like this. So, like that, uh, we can create a format. We can display in format. Right. So, um, now if I want to display uh, date. I, I don't need to convert this as date because by default is date time, right? I don't need to convert this as date. Now, in my data view, if there are a lot of places where I am transforming to date and I want the same format, what I have to do? Wherever I want the date to be displayed, I have to use as a string format. But what if later the format changes? Maybe the client wants us to display in a different format. So if I have used this format in 10 places, I have to go and change in 10 places. Not good. So what we can do is we can also define our own types. How? See, I can use a type and I can say uh, my date format is equals to and now here I'll take this. Okay. So I defined my own type called as my date format. Now what I can do instead of using this string, this one, I'll say as my date format. The output is same. Now if I have to display date in same format, I will use as my date format. Tomorrow, if the format has to be changed, I can just change in one place here. It will get reflected, right? So now you understood various important data types and also um, how to do formatting. Okay, let us see how to display, how to actually define a namespace. See here, we can use ns, <coughs> ns. We can give an alias and the namespace. Then whenever we want to apply namespace to any XML tag, this is the syntax. My n as the alias hash users. See here, uh, I have defined a namespace called as my ns and this is the value. And whenever I want to apply the namespace to any XML tag, I am using my ns hash. So see the output. For user stack, the namespace is applied. Right. There is one more type called as namespace. We'll get to know about namespace in my next video when I'm discussing about selectors. See you in the next video.